Next toilet stop, I think I'll have to put some chafing cream on the balls. I'm Chris Gethin. I'm going to be training to prepare for an Ironman. Most people give themselves two years. I'm giving myself six months, and we're going to do it. I've just had to stop. I'm absolutely shattered. All right, kids, it is day 71. Feeling okay considering I uh, went for a 10 mile run on Saturday and then an uh, 80 uh, mile bike ride and a three mile run yesterday. I think it's because I didn't stop eating and hydrating following. So remember, we are eating and we are supplementing very different to a uh, typical triathletes and we're training very different, uh, specifically through the week with a lot of intensity, a lot of drills. A lot of interval training as opposed to the weekend is uh, more so, you know, with your volume and with your long hours and your long miles. I'm probably not built to go on that thing, but I'm uh, trying to mold myself into these exercises. I'm in a bike store here this Monday. Um, after I went out on that ride yesterday with Sam, I uh, looked at a couple of things that obviously he was wearing and I'm thinking, okay, I should probably get some of these pieces of kit. I'm gonna try on these beautiful little bike shorts here. See how sexy I look in these bad boys. The reason being is that they've got a padded ass there, which I definitely need. Okay. So I'm dressed up now in the cycle gear. Don't know if it suits me at all though, man. But anyway, so the top, I got the pockets at the back. Here's the sleeve. I, as I said, I don't know if it's supposed to go up to there or further or what. Maybe just to the elbow, I don't know. And here are the beautiful shorts, as you can see. Uh, not so bad, you know. You know, I, at least I won't be walking around publicly in these things, but I'll just, you know, we'll protect my ass. Can't possibly look any bigger. God, I was, I've got no choice really. I have to get the bloody things. Yeah, I'll pick these up and I'll ask him at the front about these sleeves and see how that works out. Huh? Okay, I'm a cyclist. We are at the Y uh, swimming pool here. The reason why we're here today again after swimming yesterday is because this week I do go away to the mountains, but I don't know if it's gonna be warm enough to swim. Maybe it will be, but in case it isn't, I'm getting in my second swim this week, and it's okay to shock the body and shock the brain every now and again. I don't mind doing something like that. So I've got my wetsuit just to get used to having my shoulders constricted and getting the lactic acid buildup and pump. You know, the only way to get through that is a bit of blue collar work and just start swimming in it. So I may look a little bit odd. I may look like a seal in the ocean out there but I do plan on losing a little bit of weight now between now and the half Ironman I want the training to be extremely difficult so now I lose a little bit of weight over the next four weeks it should get easier on my joints my heart and lungs and I will lie upon the wetsuit for my buoyancy all right here we are we're at the bodybuilding.com gym 
So today we're going to be uh, smashing some legs. We've been doing a lot of compound movements over the past several weeks. So I'm going to start with some isolation here, pre-fatigue the quads and work on that knee alignment and knee stability in the contracted position. So I'm going to go all the way up, halfway down, back up, hold, contract and then back down to begin with. standing calf press here to really work the calf muscles in a similar way that we would when we're running. So when we're doing it on a cable like this, we get a little bit misaligned, which is the perfect simulation for when we're out running, particularly off-road. All right, here we are, day 72, and we're back with this man. Unfortunately, he's in my house now conducting <laughs> pain. So uh, we're doing a little bit of fascia work, is it yes. now on my delt, the delt right. that's been kind of playing up before. There's some uh, fascial restriction. So you've got fascia that covers all your muscles. So I'm gonna come up through here. Did you see that twitch? Yeah. He's got a trigger band and a trigger point. So herniated trigger point right in here. About right there, hey? Yeah. Okay, so big breath in and out. You want me to hold the camera? I don't want you to pass That's out. okay. I can land on the table. Yeah, you won't need any massage oil. I'm sweating buckets now straight away. And there's just, I can feel almost like a pea-sized knot right in there. Deep breath in out. No pressure here, okay? Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh my God. That is bruising. That is bruising. Damn, making me sweat. Damn, that was painful, dude. What's up, guys? I think it's day 73. It's a Wednesday here. And you know what? I'm just not feeling it today. Just not motivated. Don't feel like going to the gym. Definitely don't feel like doing cardio. Following. I just need some fucking pre-caged. That will sort me out. Yeah, but it's days like this is what really count. Because anybody can get through the bloody easy times, can't they? You know? Successful people in all ways, all manners, all shapes and forms, do shit sometimes they don't want to fucking do. You know, and that means sometimes you want to go out and play with your friends, but on weekends instead you stay in and you bust your ass and work and hustle. And, uh, you know, that's how it's got to be in this Man of Iron video training. There's times I don't want to hit the cardio, there's times I don't want to fucking train. But, you know, that's going to get exposed on race day, so, you know, this ain't a commodity I can go out to the gas station and purchase. It's blue collar hard fucking work. Good afternoon. I am pissing with sweat. I don't know if you can see, but I went and did my six miles of drills. Uh, so I pushed it as hard as I could. As you can see, I wrote there, but I was a little bit disappointed. I thought I'd be able to get in a little bit faster, but I'm confident that I can come back and I can push it harder. Things like this normally get the best out of me because uh, I'm a stubborn prick and uh, that's gonna play on my head now and it's gonna push me harder I know it will because <laughs> I, I don't bloody rest on these things um, maybe that's why uh, I've had some injuries in the past I don't know what's up another day another dollar we got chest today and uh, dr caleb is going to be there joining us he's going to meet us at the gym today to show us a couple of variations and exercises uh, and movements that i i can incorporate into my workouts so if you do have a similar shoulder uh, problem with a lot of built up scar tissue possibly maybe this is something that you can uh, learn from
So this afternoon I've decided, you know what, I want to go for a little bit of a swim. I want to try a little bit of open water swimming. I know I did my cardio earlier and that was uh, having a run, but um, I'm, not, I'm not expecting to go far. It's again, I just want to get over the little bit of apprehension and fear of open water swimming. So I'm here at this place called Quinn's Pond. I know one entire loop here is 1100 meters. I haven't got my bloody Garmin watch, I forgot it, so I can't accurately measure it. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to swim that far. Who knows? There's only one way to find out though. So I'm gonna go find out. Well, I did it. I did, uh, uh, the whole loop, 1100 meters, which uh, is a very proud moment for me. A lot of you probably, especially you triathletes, you're thinking, God, 1100 meters, what's that? Well, for me, it's a bloody milestone. I know I do a lot more than that in a pool, well, a little bit more, but doing that in open water swim, uh, open water, like by myself, it's the first time I've ever done that. I did that race, obviously, in Laguna Beach with a lot of other people, and that was very nerve wracking. But here, I felt, you know, at, for the for probably first five minutes, I felt a little bit nervous and anxious, I'd say. But after that, it was very calming. And I was quite surprised how far I was able to get in a short space of time. And it's really lifted my confidence. I feel so much better. Now I may need someone to rescue me, rescue me out of this wetsuit, we'll see. Good morning, I believe it's day 75. It is Friday, the beginning of the Memorial Weekend. And we're driving up to Redfish Lake. Yee and uh, we're bypassing a place called Garden Valley. And uh, so I'm gonna attempt to bike the rest of the way. I've got enough food with me as if I was gonna bike the rest of the way, so um, I'll give it my best shot. Yeah, I'm attempting my 100 mile bike ride. I found my first decline. Everything has been uphill for the past 16 miles. I think I may have uh, bitten off a little bit more than I can chew. Whew. Okay, I am uh, 38 miles in. Temperature's starting to change a little bit as I'm elevating. It's getting a lot colder, so I'm glad I kind of eared on the caution of wearing a few too many layers rather than not enough. All right, we are 50 miles in and it's getting fucking crazy tough. Such a high elevation. And uh, I got bloody headwinds as well. It's bloody nightmare. Elevating so much, I'm starting to go into the snow. So here I am, downhill, going about 50 miles an hour now, in the Jeep. I've, uh, I've had to admit defeat. I can't fucking believe it. I had to admit defeat. Doesn't happen that often. But it fucking happened. I just could not physically bike up that hill anymore. So here's some news. We uh, decided to, um, so we checked into our lodge here, which is absolutely beautiful. Like, check out this view. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. So we checked into the lodge here, like about an hour and a half ago, and lo and behold, check this out. There is a race going on tomorrow. So there's a 5K run, a 10K run, and a half marathon. And guess what? We decided to enter. We did a 5K in Vegas. A five mile in Boise. And we're not going to 10k, we're going to half, <laughs> half a marathon. Well, because we're going to have to do a full marathon at some point, so you know, might as well just do a half now. It's only half. Alright, we are at the start line of our very first half marathon. Let's see if we do this. Of course we'll do this. So far, feeling good. 
So you see sunshine's there, setting the pace. I'm just trying to follow. Absolutely stunning view of the sawtooths. I can see one, two, three, four people ahead. Five people, four people, four people. Let's see if we can slowly pick them off. We've picked off quite a few, I'm quite surprised. People that look professional runners with their visors and their forearm covers and their gloves. And here we are, our bodybuilding.com top and cage muscle shorts, kicking ass. Yeah. Whew. Okay, we finished. We're coming up to the finish line. Whew. First half marathon in the bag. Who would have thought three months ago I'd be able to do this? There goes sunshine. Sprint to the finish as usual. Oh. oh my god. One hour 59. That is nuts. We beat our perceived time. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck yeah.